All right, I'm gonna show y'all how I clean a saltwater catfish. This is a sail top, sail cat, sometimes called a gaff top. We call them sail cats because that top fin, when it goes up, looks like the sail on a sailboat, don't it? All right, this is a pretty good one. He is 19 inches overall. Now, if it gets too blood and gutty, which it won't, but uh, if it does, I'll turn off the camera. First thing I like to do, since I don't, so I don't poke myself, cut these fins off. Get rid of those. Because these are do carry a little bit of poison in them not as bad as the hardheads but a whole different fish than hardhead now everybody i see do this with saltwater catfish compare it to freshwater catfish you can't compare it it is not the same fish a different species they have a different diet totally different thing so get the freshwater catfish thing out of your head if you want to eat these and there are a couple of steps you have to take once we get the fillets off. And hang on, let me answer my boss lady and I'll be right back and show you how to do that. Alright, first step. Take your wallace fillet knife, handmade fillet knife. What? You don't have one? Well, you know what to do. I go in front of this fin here because there's nothing here but skull and we'll talk about the skulls in a minute too got that skin just like that don't try to cut it off just cut the skin okay that's the rib cage right there cut that skin on the rib cage All right, on both sides. Like that. Right here on the back. And straight down the back. Just like that. Right here on the bottom. Pass that fin both sides. Just like that. Now, because you're going to leave all this there. You don't want to take that out if you don't need to. And honestly, you don't need to. You don't cook any bones on these, bones will give it a stronger flavor. Take your skinning pliers. Pull that skin off. Pull that skin off. Lay him on your cutting board. Follow the backbone. Just like that. Down to what's left of the rib cage there. Back out so you don't feel any bones. 
don't want that. And there's your fillet. Let's do the other side, and then I'll show you how to prepare the fillet. Make it where you can eat it. Yes, it's a messy job. That fillet. Now I lost a little bit of meat there, but we're not worried about that. Now for now, we're going to get rid of this. A few bones right there. In that rib cage, get rid of those. There. Very nice fillets. All this red meat here, put your knife just under it like that. Cut that out. Get rid of that. If you fry that, even if you chunk it up, that is like the bottom of your tennis shoe. You don't want that. Now, some people will take out this line right here. It doesn't bother me. We'll leave it right there. Just like this, maybe just a little bit of that. Well, just for, just for sake, let's, uh, First time you ever do one of these, go ahead and do it this way. Cut that bloodline out of there. Pretty good chunk of meat. Like I said, the bloodline doesn't bother me because I am a true born and bred Florida cracker and we eat such things. Now, once again, do not compare this to a salt, uh, freshwater catfish because there is no comparison. And to play there, I'll show you a piece of uh, the big blue cat, which is absolutely a freshwater. See the difference? This will get bagged and cooked separately. And there we go. And that's how you do it. Questions, comments, leave them down below. If you're scared to eat one, give it to somebody that knows what they are and let them eat it. <laughs> how about that? Don't waste anything. All right, the cleaning's done and is in the refrigerator for right now. Now there's the head. I told y'all there was a story behind that. This is actually sometimes called a crucifix fish. Now this is a skull that has been dried out for probably 20 years. One that I caught years ago. And I'll, send, I'll uh, show a picture of a postcard with one on it that has been painted. You can see the arms, the head, and the legs nailed on the cross. Can you see it? Now when these are painted, you can really, really see it. And that is this skull right here. Now how to prepare that, the best way I've found, it takes a while. Cut the carcass off, nail it up to a tree or side of a building, away from everything, because it will stink for a while. And just let it the bugs get on there and eat it let that take its course you deer hunters just like some of y'all do european mounts put it in the ant bed something like that uh, you could do that with this you could put it in an ant bed 
but around here something will drag it off so and that's what i'm going to do with these two well chances are i might just put these in the freezer for right now because i really really have a lot to do and don't have a lot of time for it but anyway the most important thing i want to keep emphasizing about saltwater catfish these and hardheads hardheads are edible you have to clean them similar and the bigger ones are the better ones easier to clean anyway you cannot compare them to a whole different species of fish uh, people look at them oh that's nasty i'm not eating that and then they'll go to a restaurant seafood restaurant and buy shrimp farm raised shrimp and tilapia oh it's farm raised from overseas get online and look up some of those farms and look at the conditions they're raised in and tell me which is better that or something you catch out of the river or the bay you might change your mind rabbit tastes like rabbit does not taste like chicken deer tastes like deer don't taste like beef squirrel tastes like squirrel don't taste like anything but squirrel people in my opinion and i'm getting on my soapbox here in this country have so gotten so picky about their food don't know where it comes from scared to try something different scared to eat anything out in the woods or out of the water just look at where what you do eat comes from not knocking on any one country but just take a look you'll see anyway don't be squeamish eat one of these you will like it and if we're very very lucky i won't promise you but mama might let us see cooking a little bit of it tonight no i already put it inside we'll see if not that'll be the end of the video thank you all for watching thank you for your support oh and i did catch me a little crab too we'll keep him for bait Pull the shell off, cut him in half, and that's a good bait. Two baits. And I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>